In this video, I'll show you how to enter a value in the next empty row using VBA. In our sheet, we have a list of student names and want to create a macro which first identifies the next empty row, then gives the user the option to input a name and finally inputs the name correctly. To build this, let's enter the VBA editor and let's create a new module. We're going to call our macro add name and it will consist of two variables. First, a variable to identify the next empty row and second, a variable to insert the name in that empty row. Next, we're going to write a loop. Firstly, we need to define what the next empty row is. We're telling Excel that the empty row is found in column two and that it's one cell below the last row that is populated in our list. Next, we're going to add a line which prompts the user for the data through an input box and we'll make the title of this input box enter name. The next part is crucial. If the user doesn't enter a response or clicks cancel, then we want to exit the macro. If we don't add this line of code, then we won't be able to remove the input box so make sure to include this code. Finally, this last line is telling Excel to insert the name we typed in the input box into the next empty row. Let's now exit the VBA editor and assign the macro to this icon we've added in our sheet. When we click the icon, you can see that the input box appears and when we type a name and click enter, the name is added to our list. When we click cancel, this closes the input box. So that's how you can insert data into the next empty row with VBA. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.